your neighbor. You're listening to the number one internet radio station on the planet. WBND. WBND. WBND Radio. Home of the Brothers in Demand Radio Show. This is gospel music 24-7. We come to worship Christ. The opinions expressed in this show do not reflect the views of WBND Studios or any associated affiliates. Coming to you from a biblical perspective, we are hoping and praying that we can help you to know God and to know Jesus in a more intimate way. You are listening to the Tabernacle Trinity Hall Show. WBND Radio. Radio. Welcome to WBND Radio. 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 Tabernacle Trinity Hall. WBND Radio. Listen. Every Monday at 6.30 p.m. Tune in every Monday. Tabernacle Trinity Hall Show. Every Monday, 6.30 p.m. Welcome to the Tabernacle the Tabernacle Trinity Hall Show at the WBND Radio, the number one internet radio on the planet, where I'm your host, James and Pamela Harold, and our producer, the Moses. Blue like the color blue. What's good? Hey, man, God is an awesome God. God is an awesome God. Guys, we were sitting here today debating on what we should talk about today. What can we bring up today to talk about? Well, we started talking about things that you know we are going through or uh, things that people sometimes enforce on you they force on you and you find yourself as a indirect um uh, 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 subject of whatever it is that 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 somebody is trying to take you through for instance if I want to take somebody to court no matter how innocent they are there's a way I can get them in the court system and drag them through something that they have not did anything to deserve to go through because there's a process that needs to take place. And so here in America, we say what? You are innocent until proven guilty. Mm -hmm. Amen. So no matter how innocent you are, you still have to go through the system uh, in order to prove your innocence. Amen. So... We we're talking about the shutdown, the government shutdown, because it said, you know, there's a lot of people affected by it. We talked about it the last time we had our show and everything. We said, you know, God takes care of our needs, you know. Are you focusing on your needs? Are mm -hmm. you focusing on your wants? You know, are you going through something? Are you able to rejoice while you're going through? Or are you suffering with hardship because you're going through? And sometimes that can help you to aim and target uh, whether or not you living by your needs or are you living by your wants. Uh, being in Christ that is because Christ promised to take care of all our needs. Mm -hmm. He said, cast out all our worries upon him because he cares for you. Amen. Amen. So today's topic is the flesh and the spirit. And so Pam, how have your day been? My day has been a very relaxed day. I've been off today, so I got a few little things done. It went by fast, but mm -hmm. it was a good day. How about Amen. yours? Amen. Well, today, um, I, got, I got to relax today. It's MLK um, birthday celebration, so um, we put that out there for Martin Luther King Jr. You know, we love, you know, parents and everything. I got to preach at the same church that Martin Luther King preached at. Remember when we went to Ohio, uh, Jesse Jackson, all of them stood in the same pool pit and everything. It was wow. an honor. Yeah, Praise man. God. I made history, man, for wow. the family, you know. Listen. I made history. Not too many people can say that they did that. Amen. Mm. But you know, we um put that shot out there, you know, you know, happy Martin Luther King because he had a vision and it come true. You know, today we have the little black kids, white kids, Puerto Rican, Mexicans, Chinese, Koreans, all the kids are coming together. And I said, if we put them in a the playground and if we leave them alone, they will be okay. Mm. Because they get on the playground, they play together, and the world will be a better world if we can let them grow up and leave them alone while they're growing up. Because mm. I was looking at this thing that was on TV, it was this kid. And the, it was the Indians they were singing, and it was this kid, Caucasian kid, and he was just mocking the guy, just standing in his face, a grown man face, an old man, and this young kid, not even grown yet, standing in his face, mocking him, 
no respect, no respect for uh, the elders. He probably don't have any respect for his own parents. If he can't respect, he probably don't have any respect for himself. But um, that's just it. And then whoever taught him to do the same thing, likewise, they probably don't have no respect for their own children. They probably don't have no respect for their own parents or whatever the case might be. Disrespect is disrespect. I don't care how you look at it. You know, whether it's my kids, whether it's me, or whether it's you or whoever it is, disrespect is still spelled one way. Mm -hmm. Disrespect is what it is. But um, so we're going to be talking about... um. We're going to be talking about uh, what we're going to be talking about. And that was Union Grove Baptist Church, as a matter of fact, that I had to preach at in Ohio. So that, that was really a blessing. That was really a blessing. The flesh and the spirit, guys. Yeah, okay. Here we are. Okay. We were sitting down here. Moses asked the question. Moses, what was that question you asked? That um. Yeah, so basically during the government shutdown, you know, where's our minds and our hearts at? Sometimes it's easy to get caught up uh, in our flesh and lose sight of the spirit and what God is doing uh, in the land. So I just wanted to bring some some light and some insight to understanding what the promises and the will of God is when we go outside of what we see and go to what we don't see, which is in the supernatural. So there's something happening behind the scenes and um, God is always working, but sometimes we can't see it because we get caught up into what's in front of us. So we got to be right. very careful. That's right. And we was talking about also blessed is the man who per perseveres under trial mm -hmm. because when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. So we was talking about also, uh, what was the other question, Moses, that you had brought up about enduring, mm -hmm. uh, about being in the, about being in life caught up in the flesh, mm -hmm. by being in sin, trials, tribulations. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go, guys. It's a kind of pure joy mm -hmm. when you go through trials and tribulations. Because they're going to come. Right, knowing that the trying of your faith mm -hmm. work with patience, and let patience have a way that you might be found, what, not liking in anything, but made to be mature, spiritually mm -hmm. mature. In other words, I'm a little bit better, more prepared than I was than I was before I entered into the That's trial good. I just got out mm. of. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, now we talk about temptation. Mm. Temptation. Okay. Let's go back to trials and tribulations. Uh, somebody who's sick, somebody who's going through something, the, the government, because of what somebody else calls, calls an effect. That's somebody right. who's uh, a drug addict, somebody who's an alcoholic, somebody who just lost their job. Trials and tribulations. You're going through something. You you got to endure something. You're enduring something. Job had to endure something. He had to go through a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Jesus had to endure something. He had to go through a lot of stuff. The disciples had to endure stuff. They had to go through a lot of stuff. And the big thing about that is sometimes it hasn't called you, right? So when we look at the government shutdown, Rev, there's, there's a lot of people that haven't gotten paid. Yeah. Right. And I'm noticing a lot of do uh, a lot of donations being taken. Number one, our hearts and prayers go out to those who've been affected. Amen. Um, but count it all joy that like you can count that pure joy because everything works out for the good of those who love the Lord. So whatever's going on right now, if you haven't received a, a paycheck, just know that this too shall pass. Right. That's right. And also too that, you know what, this is where the community has to reach out and say, you know what, what can I do to be a blessing? What can I do to be a help? That's where the body comes in at. If there's a part of the body that's being affected, then I think we all should come together and say, you know what, what can I do to help? Even if it's one mite, one little crumb of bread, uh, a pillow, whatever it may be to kind of help one another get through this little trial uh, that's being uh, upon us right, right now because of another person's decision you know Pam said so she said um uh, that thing is that we don't all understand that God is in control he's in control you know uh those of you who are mature in Christ um uh, think about the Old Testament whenever Israel went into captivity mm -hmm. and 
They will be able to hold their hands up in the midst of their captivity, those that depended on God versus those that did not. Mm -hmm. And you will wonder how you can be rejoicing uh, in the midst of being um, enslaved right. and being in, in captivity. But that's what it is. That's what Satan does. He, he enslaves the mind. Mm. And so even with this government um, shutdown, there's an enslavement type of enslavement that's there because excuse me it enslaves you to variation that is so good red because the old me when i look at me now the old me would have been like oh my gosh what am i gonna do you know i can't get my income tax check or what have you but because i'm the way i am now i got a little something saved up so if something was to happen i'm gonna be all right god's gonna make a way so we're gonna be all right so for all my saints that are enduring listen keep holding on fight the good fight because this is a battle that may not have anything to do with us remember we said it's spiritual we don't mm -hmm. wrestle against flesh and blood so that's there's right. something else that's, that's right. going on that's right that's why right. and moses and moses moses is in a real positive mode about that because you know when you're actually going through something you know and if you don't have that check set aside you know and you got that bill coming up and everything and you had not yet tasted or had a chance to experience mm. god's authority Amen. you know that you have to depend nobody you can't depend on you turn this way and it's no you turn that way and it's no you turn this way and it's no and then you turn to god and god is all yeses but it's hard and difficult when you're looking at things you know you you're trying to walk in the faith but you're not yet quite used to uh, enduring mm. something to as you truly and solely have to depend on your faith on God to pull you through and so we know that those that been through that you know that God he is in control but yeah. there are some that don't know that even I at one time when Amen. I went through something we all got to go the trial the test or whatever the case might be see that 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 um trial and tribulation if we're not careful can become a temptation. Mm. Now, God, He doesn't test us by temptation. That's he doesn't we test us yeah. by evil. But our own way, sometimes our trials and tribulations uh, can become a temptation to us. I like worldly stuff. Um, mm. I got to have the uh, three, four cars, even though I could drive one at a time. Mm -hmm. I got to have this mansion, even though I can afford to pay for something and be done with. Mm. I got to have the best clothes, even though I can just go out and buy regular clothes to put on me. Or I got to be the, what, the, what is this called, uh, uh, the alpha. You know, I got to be the one to make everybody else look bad, you know. Mm. So when you're going through something, sometimes what you're going through can cause your your trial and tribulation to become a test. God will test us, but he will not tempt us, for we are tempted by our own ways, our own heart, our own life. And so that's what we want to get at because here's the thing. The reason why God delivered us from out of our trials and tribulations, the reason why God delivered us out of our temptation is because, see, the word said that you can't serve both mammon and God. It said that you got to love the one and hate the other. And so if you're in a sin, get this, you walk in the front door. That front door is the entry to your temptation. But the back door is the asset to your temptation. So it said, counter pure joy when you go through. That means that you are not idling mm -hmm. in that sin. That sin when it's conceived and it's birthed and when it's birthed, it matures and when it matures, it kills. Mm -hmm. So when we come in that front door, you don't just take a seat and say, you know what, I'm comfortable here because everything that's happening here is satisfying to me. I feel good, mm. you know, uh, I'm getting high, I feel good, um, I'm drinking me a drink, I feel good, um, I'm having sex with this person, this person, this person, and I like that, I feel good, mm. whatever that temptation, drugs, cursing, I like cursing, everything I say got to be a curse word, you know, it makes me feel good, putting people down, I like putting people down, it makes me feel good, see, but here's the thing, you got to choose which one you love most. Mm. See, if you love God more than you love your sin, it allows God to take you out of that sin, mm -hmm. even though you are in it. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so what you can do when you're going through, you coming in that front door, you in said, but you're going through. You chose not to just just man, mango, man, what's the word I'm looking for? Man, mango yeah. in mm -hmm. that scene. Mango, yeah, mingle in. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're not just sitting there getting comfortable. You go through, yeah. You're going through something, and it might, yeah, it might be some comfort while you're going through it, but the thing is, Peter, Paul said, my mind mm. stayed on God. Thank God for my mind. But he said, but with the flesh, we do the things unto the flesh. We got to recognize who we are because we are all sinners. Mm -hmm. See, I can't, can't nobody make nobody else less than they are. Mm. You cannot make yourself better than the next person. You can be more than the next person, mm -hmm. but you can't be better because all have sinned and gone astray like lost sheep. And that's the reason why we need the blood of Jesus so that because we can't do it by ourselves. The only thing we can do by ourselves is put our minds on God. That's it. And the only reason why we are able to do that is because we have the Spirit of God on the inside of us. I say just because you're a Christian has nothing to do with how you react or act because we all sometimes don't act like Christians. But being a Christian has everything to do with desiring the things that are of God. That's what being a Christian is about and holding on to your faith while you're going through waiting to get that paycheck, waiting for that bill to be paid. Sometimes we could get on the phone and God can bless uh, Duke Power or whoever and they might say, well, we want to give you an extension. We give you two more months. We know what you're going through. Mm -hmm. No, they can give you extensions. Or uh, sometimes you can work things out with somebody else and say, okay, let's exchange mm. services. Too many times we always look for a blessing to come in money. Mm. And not all of your blessings is going to come through money. Sometimes God wants to put you in a certain situation. See, here's the thing. Satan counted for evil. But if you're going through this, God could have meaning for you to be uh, affected by somebody else's wrong because he wants you to use that time, to use that instant, to use that circumstance, to use that situation mm. for you to see him work your issues out mm -hmm. because God is a way maker. That's right. And if you love God, then it enables God to deliver you mm -hmm. from whatever sin uh, situation you are in. Uh, uh, he would not put more on you than you can bear, that's but right. in the way of your temptation, he shall give you a way to escape. Mm. Which, that's true, but we should sometimes more so want to focus on counterpill of joy when we go through trials and tribulations, mm -hmm. knowing that the trial of our faith worketh patience, and patience work maturity in us. Mm. Yes, God will not put more on you than you can bear, but too many times we look for him to pull us out of something. Oh, but he needs you to go through it. And he needs you to go through it. He wants you to it. learn something. Listen. He wants you to see him. Sit in it for a minute. I got something for you when yes. you get out. Come on. Yeah, so like Pell say, hey, God, he is in control. Mm. And so only thing we can do, guys, with you ones that the ones that don't know is share our testimony, share our our experiences with you. Man, you know, you know what? God, he's able, he's able to get you through this thing. Mm. I know I lost my job and I had just bought a brand new house, and my daughter just entered the first year of college. Oh, and she my. graduated, and I've still got the house that we bought. That was back in 2014. Come on. Amen. Never wow. Got a foreclosure notice. Listen. God is faithful. He is. You have to really know who he is. You have to. And our faith has nothing to do with our circumstances. We are tired to. But the ultimate goal, our faith is knowing who he is. Mm. Amen. Amen. Knowing who he is. Y'all got to hold on to that one because she said something then. Too many times when we go through our trials and tribulations, we are looking at what we are going through. It doesn't matter how you handle I don't care how you handle that trial and tribulation. It doesn't matter. The point is, are you still holding on? You was holding on before it came. You, you should be holding on it while you're going through it. Mm. And when you come out, you should be still holding on to your faith, which is that 
Christ died on the cross for you and I, mm -hmm. and by his blood, we are washed, made white as snow, and that God does not see our sin every day you wake up. Ask God to forgive you. Every day you wake up, go to that rugged cross where you first became saved or believer. Every day you wake up, go to the blood and, 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 and wash yourself with that blood. Just like you do when you take a shower at nighttime. Mm. Just like you do when you brush your teeth with, before when you wake up in the morning or whatever the case might be. And ask God to forgive me for my sins. You know, forgive me for my sins and give me the strength to make it through the day. Make me understand why I'm going through what I'm going through. Mm. Show me the purpose of why I'm going through what I'm going through. Take your eyes off of the reason why you think you're going through and look for the purpose in why you are going through. That's so good. And I want to pick up what, what Pam said about um, knowing who he is, but we got to know who we are in him. Because if, if we are a child of God and we realize that he is our father in heaven, there is no father of that magnitude that will leave his child to want or to suffer for anything. So we must know whose we are as well and knowing who he is in us. Amen. So good. Amen. You got to have love. The key is love. And everything else go love is still there always. Mm. Why? Who is love? God. Amen. Mm. Right? God said it. When I'm reading this scripture right here, where was it, guys? Verse 12, it say, uh, uh, which the Lord hath promised to them mm -hmm. that love him. What did he promise? He said, blessed is the man that endure temptation. How do you endure temptation? Go By it. holding on to your faith. Mm -hmm. You got to go through, but you still holding on to that faith. Pound said, you don't associate faith with what you're going through. You associate faith with God, knowing who God is. Mm -hmm. Moses said, you got to go through. You got to go through. That's the test. When you go through, when you come out, are you standing like Job? Are you still holding on to what Pam say? Who is God? Mm -hmm. Are you still holding on to God and believing in God? For when he is tried, he shall receive the, the crown of life. Think of something right now mm -hmm. that you went through and that you got through and you're still holding on. Mm. And because you're still holding on, guess what you already received? Faith. The crown of life. Mm. See, God foreknown us before the foundation of the earth. Wow. And he said, whoever he know will be presented to him holy and perfect. That's what he said. He didn't say maybe or might or whatever the case might be. That doesn't mean that you go out here and do what you want to do. Mm. You because if You have to let the word transform you. That's what our Christian walk is about. Letting this word that we read every day transform us. And how do they transform up? You have to do what it says. And I always go back to the to the example when me and my husband in our early years of our marriage. Not saying that he was evil, the situation, the way God looked at it. I either could have did what my flesh wanted to do and not feed him. But this Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, do not pay evil with evil. Pay it with good. That's the word. I allow what? The Holy Spirit said to become a part of my life Amen. to where it changed. That's what we're supposed Amen. to do. Amen. And you sometimes you have to keep keep at it. Some, God wants us to be real with him. Mm -hmm. Pal, she said something. She said something. She said, and, and I'm, I'm going to brush over that because she said, I allow God's word to come in me and work in me. Yes. See, when we are saved, God gives you a clean heart. He gives you a renewed mind. So this, the mind that you used to have was of an old spirit. Mm. The things that you're used to doing with your old nature. Now that new mind gives you a new spirit. The things that are of God. And the Holy Spirit working on the inside of you. Because God going to win you over with his love. It's because of God's love for us that we desire to do the things and be where God is calling us to be. That's why I say it don't mean you can do whatever you want to do. If you're truly of God, you're not going to want to do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. You're going to want to do the things that are of God because of the spirit working on the inside of you. And remember, the only thing that you can do is keep your mind on God. You keep your mind in the Word, stay in the Word, study the Word, have the Holy Spirit feeding you and teaching you God 
way, the scriptures, his way of being, his love, his love. You keep going back to love. And I got, I got a, a revelation just by reading this weekend. When Satan got kicked out of heaven because he wanted to do what he wanted to do. Uh-huh. But when Christ came on earth, he did what God wanted him to do. And this is the battle that we in. When we in the flesh, we're doing what we want to do, when we want to do it, which represents the flesh. But then when we do what God wants us to do, we represent God. And that's the battle between the spirit and, and the, the flesh. flesh. And the flesh does the things that is closest to our nature because the flesh is a is is a is a complement to 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 our nature. But our mind is a complement to God, or uh, the Spirit of God. And so with that being said, you know, we love God. And because we love God, God is able to deliver us. Because we love God, His Word is able to, to take root within us. It's nothing that we are really able to do on our own. Amen. It's just that God knew us, and those that He know, He's going to have you no matter what. But it doesn't give you the right to go out here and do what you want to do. And I'm going to tell you something about that. You're not going to be able to go out here and do what you want to do without getting a whooping. Because mm -hmm. God, he chastises those that he loves. So if you're on your deathbed, hey, guess what? Your sin are mature and then it got you on that deathbed. Mm -hmm. But that don't mean that God ain't got you. That doesn't mean that God ain't got you. But the thing is, while you're on that deathbed, now you're wishing that you had did the things that you know that God was calling you to. Mm. So, guys, you're going through something. Just hold on. Love God more than what you're going through. Love God. Focus on God. Don't focus on the one that's causing you to go through something, whether it's yourself, whether it's whoever. Focus on God, the one that can get you out of it. That's right. The one that can get you through it. Spend time on that. See, Satan, he likes to throw mirages your way so to keep you preoccupied so that you can't focus on the way out. He wants you to focus on what got you Stay there. in, yeah. <laughs> and that makes matters worse because now you're fussing, you're bickering back and forth, back and forth, and ain't nobody seeing the, 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 what, the forest because of the tree line. Mm. You know, sometimes you got to get past that tree line in order to see the forest. And sometimes you got to climb up to the tallest tree in order to see past the forest. And the tallest tree I know is God. I don't think anybody can get higher than God. Come on. Amen. So he's an awesome God. God, we hope, guys, we hope that we was able to say something to help you guys um, one way or another. And we want you to meet us here next Monday at 630 here on WBND, the number one radio, internet radio Happy on the planet. MLK. Glory, 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 glory here with Tabernacle Trinity Hall, the word where our favorite ladder in WBND is the B, where we can say to you that you, you are, are so, so beautiful. beautiful. God bless. God bless. You're listening to the number one internet radio station on the planet. WBND. WBND. WBND Radio. This is gospel music 24-7. We come to worship Christ.